<laughs> so I found this game called The Last Door. <laughs> it's really fun. And um I don't know. I started playing it, started recording it. A bunch of stuff went wrong, but I found a better website to play it on. So it's a flash game, it's like one of the most popular flash games ever ever on cell phones and stuff. I've never heard of it. Maybe I'm just lame. I don't know. <laughs> but uh we're gonna play it. It's rated E for everyone, which you'll find out is pretty weird. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why. But uh yeah. <laughs> I just gotta wait for it to load. Tiny little bar. It's, it's like it's like a line of cocaine. Just wanna snort it, but then it'll never get to the other side. It was heartwarming, wasn't it? <laughs> ah, I'm a poet. <laughs> Ooh, I got a clicker. Waiting at the loading screen, never mind, a new game. Headphones in dark environment, recommended. Alright man, I, I'm way ahead of you. After all of the things I've seen. Gotta turn this music up, man. Grab the rope. No. Can't do it. Can't do it. After all the things I've done to my really hot wife. <laughs> Look at her. She looks just like them. They could be sisters. I think they're inbred. <laughs> She's dating Slenderman. <laughs> With a really long neck. Look at that. Uh, she's pretty hot, man. I wouldn't kill myself. She, she's, she's worth living for. <laughs> my life is on a course that I can't escape from. My hot wife is on a period. It's the only way I can deal with it. It's too late for me now. It's not too late. It's never too late. I just hope that you can forgive me someday. <laughs> it's cool, man. I'll forgive you and then we can hang out. <laughs> hang. <laughs> we can hang. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. <laughs> that was quick. Whoa, hey. Fan freaking tastic. <laughs> the last door. <laughs> Made by a bunch of Mexican people. Some smart Mexicans, I'll give them that. enough of that. <laughs> Get out of here, crow. I freaking hate you. You're always messing with me. Get off my grave. Okay. Two or 280. Yeah. Whatever, man. Shut up. No, I'm just joking. Congratulations. <laughs> October. 1891. This is very dramatic. Vedette. Ni quisiat. That's the only thing my dear f old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. It had been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto that we slapped each other in the butt with at the science and philosophy group that we secretly touched each other's wieners and then ran back when we were s in that secluded pot smoking boarding school in Scotland. <laughs> we left it all behind. Like simple childhood memories. I remember all my childhood memories. <laughs> but it was unusual. The letter it could only mean that he's homosexual and it loved my anus. Something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. But I'm gonna tell all my friends. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I had to find out what was going on. Had? Past tense? What happened to you? Are you dead? Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to the address on the letter. Okay, you do that. And there was the old home of Anthony's family at the Beechworth Mansion. 
This is actually hurt my throat. <laughs> Need some water. Chapter one. The letter. Subtle. Alright. Let's go in this creepy freaking door. Could you could you go faster, you stupid ginger freaking dude? Code is gay. This is weird, everything is silent to like no one is living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. The clock looks like a flappy wiener. Let's see what he has to say about it. A grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. My coat. A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth. Due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all the years of your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Psst. Made him kill you. Kill himself. Are you on crack? Let's go this way. Walking along the floor. <laughs> Hello, moose. A stuffed deer head. Screw you. <laughs> it's a moose when I say it's a moose. From now on, it shall be known as moose. Hello, moose. Hello. How's your day going? My day. My day is pretty good. Except for that I can't find my friend. He seems to be lost behind these doors. Well, that totally sucks, dude. You might want to, I don't know, break it down by, like, kicking it with your forehead or something. Good idea. You are a genius. Thank you. Now get out of my face. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Bipolar moose. A fireplace. Looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Oh, man. Let's go in here. Hello, is anybody there? Hello? Hello? This is a creepy freaking hallway. Let's go in there. Hello? What's this? A plate with some days old leftovers. Pfft, Khalees did dishes before he hung himself. Jeez. Slob. I, I unlocked the door. Where'd you get the key? <laughs> Jeez. Thief. What is that? A, mur a murder of crows is eagerly eating something. Ew. Let's get closer. You're too vicious. Getting close can be dangerous. Is that? It's just rubbish. Probably that dude's penis. Crows like penis. Freaking hate crows. Okay, that's a crooked painting. And fix it. Stop being such a twat. Keep it going. Keep going, man. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go in this room. Some toiletries. I don't know those words. <laughs> a lamp. It will come in handy. Then take it, you freaking twat. There's nothing interesting in these drawers. I don't even know. Did you search them all? We're just staring at them. You have x-ray vision? Screw you, dude. Think so freaking cool. Okay, so now I have an island lamp. A ballin'. <laughs> an empty ball. Like the ones I used to feed a pet. Well, that pet's probably dead now. Or it hung itself, too, probably. <laughs> Cat suicide. Or whatever suicide. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Hello? It's padlocked? It's still padlocked? I thought it wouldn't be anymore. <laughs> <sighs> Fix the crooked painting, man. It's still crooked, are you stupid? Whoa. <laughs> okay. An old rosary with a solid wooden crucifix. Wear that B word. Okay, whatever. <sighs> I don't trust this place. This house is creepy. <laughs> I would have killed myself if I lived here too. Everybody looks the same. No one has any faces. 
Let's go in here. It won't open. Sucks for you, dude. Now what? Maybe, maybe we should go outside. Yeah, go that way. Huh. That's where the crows are. Crap. We'll have to be able to light this somewhere. After I do that, I'm probably gonna have to end the episode. The paintings are on the floor and the frame is broken. Well, way to go, stupid twat. Are we a boy or a girl? I mean, it doesn't even say. It should say. But it doesn't. Okay, let's go in here. Do you see anything? I mean, is that... That's a... That's a nerd! Master Minus, get rid of that oopsies. <laughs> oopsies! Oopsies! He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he ra barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Oh, man. That's creepy. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Interesting. It won't stay open. It looks like the board is giving up. I need some kind of cord to keep it open. Jeez, I need all kinds of stuff. You're a needy girl. Very needy. <laughs> need to get like a pet or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Still padlocked. Who would have thought? I'm that lamp. Jeez. Gotta be around here somewhere. It wasn't in the. Wait, it's not in the kitchen. Not in here. Landscape painting. A landscape painting. A small plant brings some life to this place. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. I, I don't think it brings any life to this place at all. Okay. Bed. In the wall, I can see the transit over there that was hanging there. Now it's gone. Yeah! I'm a genius. I'll keep the rest away with me better than leaving it there on the wall. Ah! I guess I'm not a genius. <laughs> okay, so... Nothing in here. I clicked on everything. Some toiletries. Some toiletries. Okay. Yeah. I think I clicked on everything. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end this here for right now. And I will come back to it. And we will find out what I'm missing.